from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. Mineola police are looking into a woman's death from 1991 to see if there's a possible connection to Joseph Miller. He's the Wood County Deacon arrested this week for a murder in Pennsylvania 33 years ago. He also went by the alias Roy Eubanks. 28-year-old Selena McDowell's death had been ruled a homicide. What her mother and police have to say tonight. Smith County Sheriff's deputies this morning arrest a man accused in a shoplifting incident this weekend that ended up with a child injured. Tyler police say 54-year-old Bobby Choice stole items from the J.C. Penney store at the Broadway Square Mall Saturday. Police say the boy was hurt as Choice tried to get away from store security. Smith County deputies arrested him at his home in rural Smith County. Some Marshall residents say a man came to their home posing as a Marshall ISD official, asking them to vote against the upcoming bond election. The man is posing as the principal of Sam Houston Middle School, but the principal of that school is a woman, Angela Fitzpatrick. Election day for the MISD bond is May 10th. The Affordable Care Act is still making waves. Today, a group of East Texans rallied in support of it. Tonight, hear what they had to say to Congressman Louie Gohmert, who was in town today. And it's rodeo time in Athens this Friday and Saturday. It's the 29th annual PRCA Stampede Rodeo. Gates open each night at 5 p.m. The rodeo starts at 7.30. Details on ticket costs tonight. All that plus weather and sports on KYTX, CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.